Hey guys and welcome back. Uh, this is my Kermis that I made tutorials and today we're going to model a, I think it's called a Dutch canopy, okay? Like this uh, situation here in the, uh, in the image, okay? Now the goal is to model the framework, apply the cloth and then apply end cloth to make it look like real uh, fabric, okay? So we don't really need this uh, reference here. We're just going to click that and get rid of it. Okay, now what I did is I just uh, created a mock-up building here, just a really simple shape. So we will be able to create our uh, our canopy here, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by uh, creating a uh, polygon um, cylinder like that. We're going to add some subdivision to it, let's say 40. And we're going to hit E, and we're going to rotate that by 90 degrees. Just check that to make sure we're at 90. There we go. And we're going to switch views. We're going to go to our front view. And what we're going to do is we're going to right click, go to face, and we're going to drag select half of it. And we're going to hit delete. So that's what we're going to keep, okay? Go to right-click object mode. I'm going to switch back to our uh, perspective view. We're going to hit W. We're going to move that into place. Pull that over here. Pull it down a little bit. Hit F to zoom in. And obviously, we're going to scale this down a lot, okay? Make it much, much smaller, something like so, all right? We're going to hit W, and uh, this is going to be approximately the height that we're going to use. And we need to make sure that we have one on the other side as well. Okay, so we're going to switch to our side view here. We're going to hit Control D, and we're going to pull that over. And let's see how that looks. That looks about right. Okay. All right, so we've got that. Now next, we're going to start the initial uh, frame. So for that, we'll uh, create a polygon cube. We're going to drag select that. We're going to pull it up just slightly. Make sure that the polygon cube is square. So what we'll do is we'll adjust the width and the height both to 0 0.5. So we know it's square. We're going to hit R to scale that down, make it nice and thin. And we're going to stretch that out a little bit. OK. We are going to hit W. We're going to pull that up. And we're going to position that on the wall here. Hit F to zoom in. OK. We're going to, there we go. And we'll just check it from another view to make sure that we're in place. All right, there we go. And from the front view, we need to make sure that it's centered. We're going to hit R. We're going to stretch that out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the insert key, move my pivot point over there, and we're going to hit R, and we're going to Scale it on the right hand side to make sure that that's aligned as well. All right So now that we got that We are going to go to edit mesh Insert edge loop tool. We're going to add an edge there and we'll adjust them in a second and one over there we're going to hit Q on our keyboard and We're going to check that out from this view here Make sure that they're both similar in size. They look about right. I'll just uh, check that one. Move it maybe just a little. Okay, something like that. Then we're going to go into, uh, we're going to zoom in a little bit. We're going to right click, we're going to go to face, we're going to select that guy, and we're going to select that guy. 
we're going to go to Edit Mesh and Extrude. We're going to hit W and we're going to pull that down. Let's see if that aligns OK or not. Um, check our various views. Okay, now we need to move that one just a little. Oh, sorry, not that one. Right click, object mode, select that guy, move it in, and that guy. Okay, something like that. All right, so we got that. Then we are going to select that frame push that in so it's in contact with these disks here okay we need to bring that down a little bit let's see how that works okay so we brought that down just a little so we're going to take that one and that one and then we're going to bring them down to there. All right. So now that we got that, we are going to move the central pivot point by hitting the insert key. And we're going to move that down to there. We're going to hit control D. And we're going to hit E and we're going to start to rotate that. Okay. So we got one there. We're going to hit control D again. One there. And we're going to hit control D again. And let's do that last one at close to 90. Just check it from this view here. I can see it a bit better. That looks about right. Okay. So what I'll do just to make things a bit easier to see is I'll just put some color on this quickly, all right? So assign a material, Lambert, let's make that white. And we'll select our frames, object mode, come on. There we go, we'll take these little Sometimes it's really hard to select that. Okay, I'll do that in a sec. Right click, assign a material. Lambert, let's make that black. Okay, just so we can see it a bit better. All right, <coughs> so what's next? Next, we are going to start to create the cloth. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a polygon plane going to drag that out, something like that, and we're going to add some subdivision, actually quite some subdivision. Let's go 40 by 40. Wow, that's a lot. Let's turn that down a bit. 20, 20. Yeah, that's a bit better. Okay. We're going to hit W to move that up, and we're going to start to move that into position. Okay. So from our top view, we're going to move that in, something like that. We're going to scale that out, and I'll just hit the insert key, move my pivot point over there. So I can hit R and scale that out. That should be OK for both ends. OK. Cool. All right. <clears throat> now what we're going to do is, excuse me. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move, uh, go to our top view, hit the insert key again, move that pivot point to the back like that. Okay. So now we can hit R and we can scale that in until we're close to our first bar, so to speak. Okay, we're going to go to this view here. 
and we're going to hit E and we're going to rotate that down. We're going to hit W, we're going to bring that down, something like that, okay? And we're going to hit R and we're going to scale that into about halfway, all right? Okay, so that's part one. Now we're going to right click, object mode, hit Control D to duplicate that. Okay, we're going to move the dish view again. We're going to hit W, we're going to move that out. Now my duplicate didn't take, try that again. Control D. Did it take or did it not take? Yes, it did. Okay, it's just hard to see. All right, so we got that. We're going to go back to this view here. We're going to move that into position. First of all, we're going to hit E to rotate it. And we're going to hit R. We're going to stretch it out a bit. It's very hard to see from this view. Okay, we're going to hit W. That connection looks okay. We need to bring that one up a little bit. So we're going to hit E. We're going to rotate that back just a little. There we go. Just going to tone it down a bit. Okay, so now we're going to hit Control D again. We're going to hit W. We're going to move that out. We're going to move that down. We're going to hit E. We're going to rotate that. And we're going to hit R and we're going to scale that out and rotate it a bit more. Okay, so let's see what we got. <coughs> okay, so we got that. All right, we're going to select these and we're going to go up to mesh and Combine, all right, looks about right. Okay, now we need to add some decoration down here. So for that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a uh, another polygon plane, something like that. We're gonna give it some subdivision. So let's say 10 by 10. Let's see what that looks like. Hit F to zoom in. Okay, uh, let's tweak that down a bit. Something like that. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. And we'll increase that to 20. And we'll make sure it has the same width. Close as possible. So let's hit R and stretch that out a little bit. Hit insert key. I'm just going to pull that over to this end here, like that. We're going to align it from this end. And that's a pretty good fit. Okay. So next we're going to hit E and we're going to rotate that guy by 90. Minus 90. There we go. And we are going to hit W and we're going to start to move that into position. Let's check it from this angle. As you can see, we need to bring it down a bit. Let's say something like that. We're going to move it just a little bit. Let's see if we're aligned okay. Looks pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. Then we're going to right click, go to vertex, and let's see how this measures out. So we're going to take uh, two vertices, skip two, take two, skip two, take two. Uh, hang on, 
guys. Uh, let's see. We're going to do it another way. We're going to do it like that. Let's give one. And hopefully this works out. All right. Something like that. And we'll take that one in the middle. And we'll do the same. All right, let's check that. <coughs> now it's a bit long, as you can see. So what we can do is uh, we're going to right click, go to face. We're going to select these top two edges like that. We're going to hit delete, right click object mode, and we're going to take that guy and pull it up. And that should be about right. Let's see if it's connecting. Okay. It's not too bad. All right. So we got that and we're going to select that and that we're going to go. Actually, let's see if we can soften this shift, right click smooth. Yeah. Okay. Select that one, select that one, go up to mesh and combine. So this is now one uh, piece of geometry. Okay. Now, how do we make this look like uh, cloth? A couple of things. First, we select it. We're going to go to end dynamics. We're going to go up to end mesh and create end cloth. All right. That's step number one. Two, we're going to go to fields and we're going to click on gravity. Okay. So it will have a tendency to fall down. Three, we need to fix certain points. So what we're going to do, and that's going to be tricky uh, to say the very least. How are we going to do that? Let me think. We're going to try it from this view. Okay. We're going to right click, go to vertex. Okay. We're going to zoom in nice and close. We're going to drag select these three. Go to end constraint and transform. Okay. We're going to right click again, go to vertex. We're going to drag select these three constraint transform. Okay. We're going to go here. Here. There we go. Right click vertex, drag select. Constraint transform. And we're going to go here, drag select vertex. Let's take these and transform. Okay. So we got all of those. That should be okay. Uh, next thing we need to do is we need to select our frame, all of it. Okay, and we need to go to um, and mesh and create passive collider. All right, just going to throw some color on our uh, some line here. Object mode, right click, assign new material, Lambert red, like that. And we are going to select these two little objects here. Right click, assign new material, Lambert, and black. Okay, so we got that. Now we need to set up our animation frames. Let's say 200 frames. And if everything took okay, it should now start to react as a cloth. Let's give it a try. Okay, now as you can see, it's very soft, it's very wavy, it's falling all the way in. We can adjust that. So what's happening here? We, uh, what's going on up there? Oh, we got a double. There we go. Okay, so this material is too soft. Now what we can do is we can select our cloth and we can go to our end cloth shape, go to presets, 
and we want this to be a material that's a bit more stiff okay not not so stretchy so let's go with uh, heavy denim all right we're gonna hit replace we're gonna go back to our start and we're gonna hit play okay now if we let it play out as you can see it's responding and this is pretty much our end status now what you can do is you can go back to frame one you can hit play and as soon as it ends up uh, the way you want it to be then you can hit stop and that's what we'll do right now so I'm gonna hit play let's say I like this so I stopped at frame 13 okay I like this as my end result so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select my cloth like I did here I'm gonna go up to edit delete by type and history so now all of that history is gone right so I can hit play all I want it's not going to change anymore all right so that's how you can do that now we'll just do a quick render we don't have a lot of material going on here but we'll do a render anyway and that will be your end result so this is uh, in a very uh, brief and short way how you can do that uh, obviously you will spend a lot more time on that detailing it making it look nicer and so forth but these are the basics so hopefully this was helpful for you guys thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time